In this video, I'll be sharing with you most frequently asked interview questions along with their answers. What are the different types of products in Talent? Currently, Talent has got two types of product. One is the free, free products and the other one is the enterprise uh, level of products. A free product contains a Talent Open Studio for data integration, Big Data, ESB which is Enterprise Service Bus, a data quality and in the data preparation uh, softwares are all uh, the free products. Under enterprise uh, products, we have got uh, cloud data integration, a data integration, a big data, big data uh, platform, and also uh, we have uh, talent data fabric. What are the differences between free products and the enterprise products? As you might be knowing, uh, most of the free free products are always. Um, comes with you know very limited features in this case uh, the version controlling uh, for the team based development is missing uh, you will not be getting uh, connectivity to uh, version control softwares like git or svn um, and there is no parallelization uh, uh, when it comes to certain features like parallelization scheduling uh, those are uh, not available in the free product and there is no administration center and uh, there's no scheduling uh, feature uh, in the free product and hence um, free product the talent open studio is good only if you are uh, trying to learn the tool uh, do the development locally and then execute it and uh, monitor you know, manually so if you want to uh, do all the other uh, features you should be going along with the enterprise uh, suite of products the next question is, uh, what is the latest version of the talent now? This is most frequently asked question and most of the people they do not uh, know or um, up to date with uh, the talent uh, you know, releases. So currently uh, as on uh, October 2020, we have the current version is 7.3. Um, this is the version you will be downloading from their website. Uh, and there is also a cloud-based solution available from Talent for a free trial. Um, make sure you um, check their Talent uh, releases page uh, to understand the latest uh, you know, new releases in Talent. Moving on, uh, the fourth question here we have is uh, what are some of the new features in uh, 7.0? Um, so compared to uh, the older versions, which is 6.x, um, were supporting only SVN. So in 7 onwards, um, they have started supporting Git repository for the version control. And they have introduced Talent Cloud data integration software. And uh, they have upgraded several open source database connectivities. Um, support for the latest versions of uh, Big Data. Uh, technologies and there's a lot of uh, cloud related uh, um, you know features available in uh, 7.x the next question uh, what is the difference between uh, the git and nexus a uh, git git always contains the your source code of your job uh, as soon as you save your job uh, and then check in all the source code, source code related to that job would be sitting in uh, git uh, repository and Nexus is always um, Nexus or any other artifact repository contains all the compiled code which uh, is actually produced after the publish activity from your uh, studio. Uh, Nexus or any other artifact repository uh, also contains um, the talent patches uh, that they frequently release and contains all the libraries, references, jar files, um, everything is bundled in Nexus. That is how all the studios um, get connected with Nexus to download uh, the latest patches or licenses or most of the um, you know features from Nexus. And remember, uh, Git and Nexus is something available only for the enterprise edition of software. Uh, it is not available for Open Studio. Um, but in real time um, question uh, interviews, uh, these are. Uh, some of the must in um, you know, questions um, all right so we are done with five questions so far moving on our next question is um, what are uh, the different components involved in the talent architecture so talent architecture contains um, the studio the job server the runtime servers 
uh, talent admin center uh, nexus and git so these are all uh, various uh, components in uh, the architecture i have detailed uh, i have already prepared a detailed video on this you can visit to my channel and go to the section called playlist and under that you should be able to um, find the playlist called talent uh, tutorials uh, you can watch uh, the other videos to understand uh, the architecture better uh, so that you should be in a good shape to understand uh, more questions on the architecture all right the next question is how do you publish your job once once the job is uh, developed and tested locally uh, all you do is uh, do a right click on the job and uh, choose the option called publish so this activity uh, will generate uh, will compile the code generate the uh, final executable and publish to the artifact repository so this is the process involved in publishing the job the next question is how do you test your job locally and then the remotely so the local testing is very much limited to the studio wherein you can go to the run tab and click on run uh, or you do the debug or uh, to the memory run uh, so that is uh, testing locally uh, when it comes to remote execution there are a couple of ways either you can do a target execution um, by adding your uh, job server in the studio uh, configuration uh, using which you can uh, deploy the job being within the studio you can deploy the job uh, to a target um, job server and uh, get your job executed that's one way and the second way is um, using uh, the talent administration center moving on uh, the question number nine is what are global variables and how they are used global variables are very important um, uh, variables uh, in talent uh, people get uh, often confused with global versus context um, e each uh, even though uh, these two variables are one of the same uh, it has a variable and a value associated with it the global variable is used uh, for any business purposes or logical uh, grouping of variables uh, and you can set the values uh, dynamically you can set the values and then reuse by you know multiple sub jobs or parent uh, job uh, so that is uh, the global variable to give you an example let's say if you want to do uh, employee salary greater than you know so and so amount which is fixed by um, you know your requirement uh, for a particular department so you can have your department details and uh, uh, salary criteria in a global variables and use it across your talent job <coughs> so these are uh, some of the ways you can uh, set and load uh, for the global variables coming to context variables in our next question uh, talent context variables are nothing but uh, the variables which can hold uh, different values in different environment which means uh, you can have let's say you are connecting to a, a database um, the database connection details would be different in dev uh, and also uh, in any other you know, environment like QA or you know, fraud. So in order to save that, um, we uh, strongly make use of context variable which is one of the best practice and uh, capture those uh, variable values uh, based on the environment we are running. We uh, make use of context variable and use it in the job. I have a detailed video already created on this. You can visit to my channel, uh, check out the talent uh, tutorial um, in a playlist.